super late on Sunday. Wanted to show. Got two packages there. The whole back is filled. One, two, three, four, five, six packages of RCs going out today. We'll get a little clip at the UPS store. Uh, there's still three more to go out that I need boxes for. Um, but one of them I have to get a receiver for. Uh, Traxxas receiver uh, failed. So I got to get it replaced out before I ship it out. But went through, made sure everything worked. It's pretty cool. All the subscribers should be getting their packages soon. I'll blur out the names, but I marked each package and I send a photo to each person of what their box will look like. But there we go, loaded up, ready for Monday. All right, welcome back. So we are on our way to the UPS store to drop off a whole wagon full of RCs. The whole back of my truck, my truck, my wagon is stuffed with RC cars. But I'm gonna stop and get breakfast first because I am hungry. Been up all night packaging RCs, making sure that they work for everybody out there that purchased one. Two RCs didn't make it, um, and I'll explain that here in a bit, but let's get some food ordered up. Hello, can I help you? Yes, can I get a number seven with a large Diet Coke? Okay, number seven with a large Diet Coke, anything else? Nope, that's it. Thank you. you. Gotta love McDonald's breakfast burritos. Definitely uh, fun. Thank you. Thing. You too. Got the E-Revos in there. Uh, ended up selling the Outcast 6S um, late last night. Um, somebody sent an email. I know there's an email in there, I think, for the Big Rock. I just haven't replied to it um, because I'm still busy. I'm still trying to catch up. I want to get all this stuff dropped off. It was filling my uh, area with boxes. So I tested every one of them. All right. Tested one, every one of the RCs. I also took photos um, of packaging them up. which I will send to uh, each owner so they know uh, what RC is coming in the box because the boxes are other RC brands and other RC cars. I just used all the boxes I had. And then I even used a steamer box for my steam cleaner. I use that box for an RC as well. So I'm going to eat some breakfast and head over to the UPS store, which should be pretty interesting. Just figured I'd take you guys along a little different video. Even after you sell the RC, it still takes a lot of work on everybody's part 
uh, my part and the people receiving these RC cars since they're paying for shipping all the shipping charges will have to be paid today so we're gonna get over there and get all this stuff done and I'll be calling every one of you guys here in a minute so I'm gonna eat my breakfast we're gonna travel over to the UPS store we'll be right back all right at the UPS store just finished putting all the boxes in there so we'll go inside and see this pile all right so the first RC is going out the Fortec so UPS store is very helpful they're getting it all shipped out to you guys so you guys will get your toys any minute well in a week and on the next one uh do I need, can you I pay? pay individually? Yeah, that way I get a tracking on each one if that's okay. Yeah. Well, you're gonna have tracking on each one. It's just, you're gonna get separate payment receipts. Oh, okay, that's fine. That, you as long as I get uh, a tracking and a payment for each box, so I know. Yeah, so this tracking receipt has the payment and then it also has the tracking. Okay, and Did who you, it's going to? Yeah. Okay, Did perfect. You want, uh, to pay all together? I can pay all together okay. then at the end. I just wasn't sure. Uh, which card did you want to do next? What's that? Which card did you want to do next? Oh, I'll grab it. Let's see. This one is a DB Pro. Going to Miguel. So we're going to get all these things rung up here. And uh, we'll be back with you guys in a minute. But they're all heading out. Thanks. All right, so everything's in the pile at the UPS store to go out. They were very helpful. Got everything labeled up for you guys. Got all you guys' tracking numbers. So I'll get that over to you now. But congratulations to everybody. And uh, hope you guys have fun with them. We'll be back. All right. So we are back at home. And these are the two RCs that didn't go out. This one I got to pull the receiver out of. It's got a Futaba receiver in it. And turns out the green tracks or a uh, rustler with the Mac system in it also has a Futaba. I don't even know if you guys can see that. Futaba receiver. So I got to put a Traxxas receiver into this thing and bind this to a Traxxas controller because all my on-road stuff was bound to my, my Futaba, which I definitely forgot about. So we're going to have to get that done. So it's one of those unexpected things that I forgot about because I haven't run these things in so long. And I forgot it had the Futaba in it. So I'm going to pop this out and then get a get a Traxxas one in here. Because I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a Futaba controller. So, the only person I've talked to so far is Cheyenne. He purchased, I think, an E-Revo. And, uh, so he's already paid his shipping charges. So I gotta call all these other ones. And there is a stack of them. There is a stack of these white receipts that I gotta call people. I think this was Cheyenne. So I'm going to mark paid. And I'm going to start calling these people. But if you want to see me get this receiver changed out, that's what I'm going to do right now. And then we're going to go back down and these two got to be shipped. Now, this guy who bought the E-Revo, he also bought, I believe, the 6S Orange Outcast. And that already went out. Um, that one was all bound and ready to go because I had brought that out to the swap meet. But this one 
I went to uh, check it because I check everything before I ship it. And I was like, I have the controller. See? Green Rustler 4x4. I had it marked, but what it was, was, like I said, I put them all, all my on-road stuff, I put on my Futaba. So this has got fan and channel 3, so I'm going to leave that connected. i got to get the antenna disconnected as well. There we go. antenna out of there then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see if I can find a Traxxas receiver and I want to thank you to everybody so I'm just gonna mention part of their names Cheyenne was one who purchased um, we got Miguel had purchased Joe had purchased Salomon had purchased twice two different RC cars and we had Rod had purchased and then Anthony so all you guys I want to say thank you um, and We'll get the rustler out today. Latest would be Tuesday. Trying to get it today. Got to find a, a Traxxas receiver. All right. So, got the TQI receiver. Pulled it out of my drag Mustang over there. I'll just stick the Futaba in that. See which way this thing goes. So, channel one starts on this side. So channel one, channel one, skip one, and then the ESC because that has two steering controls. It's one thing you got to remember about Traxxas. They give you two steering outputs, and then our fan control. got to go out before I close it up I got to bind it there's the Futaba we pulled out good receivers a lot of range bind it with the 3s pack so what you do you hold the bind Flashing red, hold the set, power it up, it's green, powerful little devil, all works, now we can close everything up get this shipped out to him then we gotta get the waterproof cover on two small screws screw that holds it down
and it doesn't get in the way. Perfect. And it is good to go. This is the factory radio for it. Because I marked it when I always mark them when I buy them. It's just so dusty from sitting around. TQI, TQI, and it is ready to go out. This little thing's got so much money into it. But that's going to go out, and then i got to get the receiver out of that, but I'll do that off camera. And we are all caught up. And that's it. Just like I promised, everything went out on Monday. But there we go. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I'm going to work on getting my on-road stuff and going through everything else I have. Um, like I said, the Outcast did sell, but I still have the Big Rock uh, version 2 for 200 bucks, And I still have the Dementor. And uh, what else do I have? Oh, the Haas. And the 100th Anniversary Edition Snap-on or Fortec. And that's it. One, two, three. I have four RCs left. And then everything would have sold that I've shown in all these videos. But I want to thank everyone's support. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Wait for some new videos. I can't wait to get out and start running again instead of dealing with all this RC stuff. But special thanks to everybody out there um, that, uh, that supported the channel and everybody that couldn't afford to support the channel. Um, I appreciate you guys too. Just the comments and the likes of the videos and all that stuff. That's thanks enough. But there we go. We'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. What's your name? Gabe. And Ernie again. Ernie's back. Brought Gabe this time. So it's brand new. And then uh, here's the controller. It's marked for you. I didn't know you were in the drill. Yeah, I threw it all in. I made sure it all worked. What's your name? Catherine. Catherine, nice to meet you. I'm Earl. And you are? Justin. Nice to meet you, Justin.